Hey everybody, Kathy here with Pain Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody doing today? Uh, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be notified every single time Phil uploads a video. And if you are one of the Oldie Book goodies, welcome back. I'm gonna have a little fun here. I'm going back to my old, old stomping grounds. I've had some new people ask me to do my stained glass effect. Haven't done one of these in a year and a half, maybe. I don't know, it might even be longer. So hopefully I remember how to do this. Uh, so we're gonna have a little fun here. I have my 11 by 14, this is a gessoed board down and uh, I have my color place from Walmart. There's absolutely no silicone, no water, no glue in it. It's called antique white and it's satin. So, the colors I'm going to use for the stained glass today is Amsterdam Brilliant Blue. This is Color Art Sea Glass. This is uh, Brilliant Purple by Liquitech Basics. This is one of my favorites from Color Arts Auburn Jean. This is Golden Pyroli Orange. Amsterdam Azo Yellow 24 Karat Gold Deco Art. And these are the new Vivid Intense. I'm using four of them. There is 10 that you can get. They are the Fluid Acrylic, um, and they're, they're absolutely wonderful. This one is the Vermilion Red Orange. This is the Indian Yellow, Deep Violet, and Phalo Turquoise. So head on over to Color Art, use my coupon code, Kathy Miller 520 and pick yourself up some. As Kathy mentioned, she's doing the stained glass effect and as we actually call it the drizzle, 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 <laughs> drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin. There's actually four stages to this. And it's really a cool effect. I can't wait to see it. She hasn't done one, as she's mentioned, in quite a while. Have not. This is the sea glass from Primary Elements. And it just looks like a big mishmash. Yes, step one is what we call the drizzle. And the object is to get all the different colors all over the canvas, but not too much in any one area of any one color. It's a great way to use up your paints. Yeah, we have a lot of fun doing this. You know, all these paints that Kathy is using today all have the same recipe. She has a recipe video, number 478. There's a direct link to that recipe video in the description box. It's a very, very simple recipe. It works for pigments, paints, the fluid acrylics, uh, mixtures of those. Real easy to use. Brilliant purple. All these colors will be in the description box, so you don't have to worry. Phil will have them in there for you. Okay, what am I doing here? Besides going crazy. This is a vivid intense. This is the Indian yellow. Okay. We're going to do the deep violet. These are the vivid intense that Kathy is talking about. And you can you can use these in many different uh, ways. You can make a base color with them if you want. Uh, way back when, when I was doing the fluid acrylics from Golden, I uh, made base paint colors. And you can that's what you can do with the color art colors. You can make any color base that you want to do. So if you don't have one that you want to try, do some of the uh, Vivid Intense liquid. Okay, Phil. Oh, you got the mishmash going here. We got the mishmash. Mishmash. Mishmash, okay. We got the mishmash. So this is what the drizzle should look like at this stage. Just all the different colors all over the canvas, but not completely covering the base white. Okay. 
Okay, now that's that. going to be your cell activator, correct? Correct. All right. Cell activator is simply Amsterdam oxide black paint with Australian Floetrol. That's how simple Kathy's cell activator recipe is. And you can use ah. any colored paint. She likes to use Amsterdam products for her cell activator. But if you want a colored cell activator, it's simply change the color of the paint. And I just use plain old playing cards to do my swipe. Um, you can use whatever you want. Somebody uh, said to me, why don't you use the plastic playing cards instead of throwing them out? Um, I just find them to be a real pain in the old you-know-what, and I'm not going to clean all that stuff up. So <laughs> okay. it's just easier for me to do it with these playing cards I can keep right your, here. From I can the... see you're keeping mine aside. Oh, yes, the king. <laughs> Usually it's the joker. Correct. Okay, so I'm just going to dip. Okay. Actually, I'm going to put these up here because that's where my cards are going to go. i got to have this here. Okay. Got you, this out. is old school, too. You used to do this many moons oh, ago. Oh, my goodness. Just using playing cards, which are work wonderfully. And you can wipe these off and, and use them again. I mean, you don't have to throw them away like I do. Look at all the wonderful multicolored cells that are starting to pop. And that's the object of the drizzle is to get all the different colors in the cells on each swipe. Kathy does have a Facebook group called Paint Pouring by Kathy Miller. She'd love to have you join. You can post your own creations, which is really cool. Ask questions, make comments. Uh, there's so many wonderful artists out there with all different techniques. You can learn a lot. Uh, I love going through there, seeing what's being created and how they create them. There's a direct link in the description box to get to Kathy's, uh, to join Kathy's Facebook group. And also there's a link to become a member of, or um, to subscribe to Kathy's YouTube channel. See, this is, this is exactly what you want to start happening with all the different colors that you've drizzled and using a nice cell activator, it really starts popping those cells. And you just get every single color that you put down. Yes. All the different colors. Even multicolored cells. Some of these cells have two, three colors in there. Don't forget, Kathy also has an Amazon shop that she's curated with all the many of the supplies and products that she uses. It doesn't cost you any more to make a purchase through Kathy's Amazon shop. It, but it does help her channel, so she would appreciate it if you would take a look at her shop, see if there's anything you need. Again, there's a direct link to Kathy's Amazon shop in the description box. I'm leaving some open spaces. I call them rivers. I will show you how I, I cover them up. I don't like leaving them. Some people might want to leave them. I'm not a fan of my rivers. See, that's sort of a river. It's a little area between two swipes that isn't uh, so popping. I take, I take a smaller card like this, okay. dip it into my cell activator, just go right down, and it just covers it up. But I mean, you can leave them if you want. Just look at all those colored cells. So this was stage two, the swiping of the drizzled paint with cell activator. Correct.
This is just as a reminder, it's called dr Drizzle, Swipe, <laughs> Wreck, and Spin. So now we're ready for wrecking, although we now call it enhancing. Wow. You don't have to enhance it that much. You don't even have to enhance it if you don't want to. You don't have to, but it does create some really neat effects. But you don't want to overdo it because the main purpose of this is to create sort of a stained glass effect. So you want to leave as many of the cells as possible. Okay. Hey, we're going to do a little bit of enhancing, but like Phil said, you don't want to do a lot. Overdo it. So I'm going to take a quick peek of this before you spin it. As you can see, all the wonderful cells, all the colors, a little bit of enhancing in there. It's very, very, very pretty. You can see every single color. And this is really a, a fun technique. So I'm glad, you know, some of the subscribers said, please do a stained glass. We've never seen you do one in person. And uh, I said to Phil, well... I guess we're doing the stained glass. He goes, whoa, really? I said, yeah. Well, it is one of my favorite techniques. And even though there's four steps to it, each step is uh, relatively easy. As long as you have good products, wonderful cell activator, you're going to get a really nice result. Okay. We're going to spin this now. Okay. Now we remember which way you went. I went this way. <laughs> when you do spin, you also want to spin both ways. And also you want to be careful not to overspin or spin too quickly. Because the paint, of course, does move. And you want to have your uh, board on so it doesn't Very secure. <laughs> slide off. Oh, this is oh, pretty. Wow. This is beautiful. Look at that. So, so pretty. Look at the colors. It just looks it just looks like stained glass. It does. It does. It really, really does. Oh wow. I'm loving this. Pick it up all the colors all throughout. This is one of, actually one of my favorite uh, creations that I did. I'm loving the stained glass. Yes. It's just so. Darn I don't know pretty. why you haven't done one in so long. Really, it's just, I don't know. It's I just I didn't. I don't think about it, and I should actually because it's it's so pretty. Yeah, okay, turn it that. Leave it that way. Just look. Yes. Well, so, if you tip, you got to leave it down because if you tip it up, it glares. Oh. Yes. It's beautiful. Just try it, people. I mean, it's it's really a fun creation to do it's beautiful with all the colors um just going through it and just seeing all the different areas that picked up all those colors actually um i don't know if you want to but if you actually if you spin it more the more you spin it the larger the yeah, cells they do. i hope it doesn't get. come off though yeah, well yeah you got to be careful if you like it the way it is don't spin it anymore uh, but I just wanted to mention that that's what the spinning does for the creation. It enlarges the cells and enlarges the enhancing lines that you put in there. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at it now. Yeah, see how big it gets? Oh, yes. So you're getting, the cells are getting bigger. And the enhancing lines are getting wider. It's pretty. It's, it's, this is really a nice one, Connie. Okay, everybody, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. I, it was like a year and a half ago since I did this. 
And I actually wore my shirt that says a dri drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin. And uh, I'm glad that people wanted me to do this again because it's really a lot of fun. So give me a thumbs up. It will really help my channel and it would help people find me. And uh, please subscribe. We'd love to have you be one of our subscribers. So until the next time, leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. And uh, I'll see you all later, alligators. Love you all. Bye. Take a tour up through it. And then get closer. Can you turn it to sideways one more time? Get an overall view again.